what I'm going to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from me and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast Delighted to be joined here. It's the start of fight week. Lee Wood versus Maurizio Lara at the media workout by debutant Aaron Bowen. How are you, mate? Very well, thanks, you. Very well, thank you. Just uh, let's get straight into it then. Making your pro debut. Eddie Hearn spoke very highly of you. He said you're a ticket seller. You've got that amateur pedigree. What are we, what are we to expect from you to be your first year as a pro? I think you can expect good fights. Um, I'm looking for some good tests early on, so you know it should be some good 50-50 fights where I bring an action-packed fight, and you'll probably hear the noise along with that. What weight will you be campaigning at, Aaron? Middleweight. Middleweight, I'll be doing, yeah. So. And uh, David Diamante, as he introduced you to the ring, there he just listed some of your amateur accomplishments. So could you just go into them? What sort of amateur background you've had? Yeah, five-time national champion, Commonwealth Games youth gold, senior bronze, uh, was on the Great Britain squad, picked up international medals, and so yeah, good amateur background there. And just talk to me about this opportunity here, because it's the first show of the year, Matt Troops card, it's a huge fight in Leewood versus Mauricio Lara, the whole of the boxing world's talking about it, so what does it mean to you to get on the card this big for such early in your career? You look around, it's just unbelievable, you know, this is where I want to be and Nottingham's not too far from where I'm from, so this is almost a home show for me, you know, and to be on a world title fight with such good fighters on the undercard and, you know, I've got a good opponent, so I'm going to try to have a good fight and this will be, a lot of my people haven't been to a pro show and this is the biggest one they could have been to, you know, so it's going to be a great night for me and a great night for all of them and I can't wait. Do you expect to see a lot of support for you in there on Saturday night? done over 350 tickets so big following you know and that, that spurs me on that gives me that grit in the teeth you know I want to get in there I want to I want to hurt the opponent when all these people are watching we see with ticket sellers like that do your two your three your 400 tickets like it kind of builds the atmosphere throughout the night you'll be on early on in the show but it's still going to be a good atmosphere in such a big arena so for yourself and like companies like Matchroom your big promoters they want that so how important is it for you to grow your following? Massive, you know. I want to be topping these bills one day and I've got to start somewhere, but with the following I've got and the style I bring, and I believe I can go on and headline one day. So this is just a start, but once the fans start following me more and, you know, build up a Midlands base and hopefully an English base, is, it's just going to get better and better, hopefully. I've just got to keep taking it in my stride and keep knocking over who's in front of me. There's a lot of shows that are happening in the Midlands at the minute, particularly Telford. But in a few years' time, you can see yourself topping the big, big arenas in the Midlands, in Birmingham, Coventry, etc. I'd love that. You know, I've had big fights with Commonwealth Games and uh, national championships where they've been near home, and it's it's been massive. You know, four or five hundred there. But you know, the pro shows are even bigger and better. And, you know, to, to headline one day in a big fight where it's a 50-50 fight and we go at it for 12, that's what I want. So, you know, start here, take each fight by fight and, you know, let's get the ball going. And historically and currently, the middleweight division's been held in such high regard in the British level. So, for yourself, if you're moving up those ranks, within two, three years' time, you could be involved in some mega fights, couldn't you? Yeah, massive, you know, there's good middleweights. Middleweight's been massive division forever, isn't it? So, I haven't got my eyes on anyone, but there is some big fights out there, and, you know, stylistically, it'd be great to have a good dust-up and uh, have a big fight, yeah, like you say. So, finally, just to close up, what can people who have never seen you before expect from you style-wise and performance-wise on Saturday night? I think they can expect a nice, rangy boxing performance, you know, putting the shots together nice and... I will be looking for the knockout from the first bout to the last, you know, so I can expect a good boxing display with a lot of uh, with a lot of power in there, hopefully. Exactly. Expect excitement on Saturday night from your debut. Thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV, Aaron Bowen, and I'll hopefully catch up with you after your winning performance on Saturday night. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Appreciate that. I'm going to 
to share something with y'all. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. <laughs> See if someone grabbed up my wife for something completely different ballgame. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.